Hello, what is up lovely people? Welcome to the Learn FCL series where you can learn a bunch of fun tips and tricks with FCL so you can build the next awesome dap on Flow. My name is Kim and you'll be learning with me for this first one. And since this is an intro video, I'll be walking you through the first few steps of FCL. We will be learning these three things. First, what is FCL and why is it useful? Second, how to configure your FCL to interact with the Flow testnet. And finally, we will learn how to execute Execute a very basic script. Sounds good? Good. Let's get started. First things first, you're probably asking Kim, what the heck is FCL? Well, FCL stands for the Flow Client Library, which is an SDK that makes developing on Flow super easy. It's simple to use and standardizes communication patterns. So things such as interacting with user wallets or talking to the Flow blockchain are a breeze. In our lesson today, we'll be using JavaScript so it's simply an NPM package that we'll need to add to our dependencies. If you want to learn more, I've added links in the description box below where you can read up all about it. Yay, onto the fun part. Our goal for this lesson is to make Flow Testnet return a specific number for us. Super basic, I know, but this is important. I'll be using Code Sandbox, which you're more than welcome to use as well, and I've also linked it below, so don't worry if you get lost, you'll be able to fork the code and try it out for yourself. So. Step one, as I previously mentioned, is we will need our FCL dependency. So let's go do that first. In your code sandbox, you'll have in your left hand column, we have files over here to show your file structure or your folder structure. And under that, we have dependencies where we can add our dependency. So what we need to do is at onflow slash FCL. You're gonna click the first one that pops up and that's it. Our dependency has been installed. Right, so now we can navigate over to the code. Step two, we are going to import some FCL methods. So FCL exposes a bunch of methods that include building your interaction, interacting with the chain, configuring your FCL and stuff like that. So the first two packages that we'll need for this is we'll need query that will allow us to query the chain itself. And we will need config, which allows us to configure our FCL setup. So from in, that is the dependency, ooh, autocomplete. The dependency that we just downloaded, which is FCL. Um, super cool. Nice, step number three. So step number three, we need to configure our FCL so it knows where to talk to and where to send our scripts. For this instance, we'll be talking to the testnet. Um, so, over here, I have this constant called API, and the value of this API is this access endpoint for testnet. It is rest-testnet.onflow.org. Next, we now have to configure or update our configurations for FCL. And to do so, we will use config over here. We're gonna call the config, chain it with the puts. Um, we'll be updating our access node API with our endpoint, so simply just enter in our variable in there and that's it. We have now configured our FCL to point to the testnet. Cool. Last but not least, we will do the fun part, which is sending off our cadence script. So if you follow me over here at line 18 to 22, this is the cadence script that we'll be sending off. It's super simple. It is going to return an integer, specifically 42. Cool. And now we gotta send it off. How to do so, we are going to set up our constant variable called answer. We are going to call the query method. And since this script has no arguments needed, all we need to do is pass in the script itself, which is defined as cadence. And lastly, we want to make sure that we get the result that we're looking for. So to do so, we're gonna console log it. We're gonna say like, hey, testnet, what does this function return? And testnet will give us the answer. Drum roll, please. Um, cool. Obviously there's nothing here, but if we go down here and check the console, we will see Hey, what does the return? And he gives us 42. And voila, that's it. 
Cool, congrats on sending off your first script to the Flow of Testnet. Hope that was easy for you and stay tuned for the next video where we learn how to pass in arguments with our scripts. Happy building! See ya!